Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true dead welcome to Sable, a game which everybody sing along. I've had my eye on for a while because, uh, oh, this one just looks like a really nice time. All right, it looks gorgeous, it's got a really interesting soundtrack, and uh, it sounds like it's just a lovely, fun, explory thing in a desert where you're just going on your rite of passage, uh, having a nice time, exploring in a chilled out environment all right no apocalypse no people trying to shoot you i'm gonna be really embarrassed by the way in about 20 seconds if the game opens with i'm so sorry you have to do your right to passage during this gun apocalypse that suddenly arrived that's really unfortunate but i really hope not because i was looking forward to the nice chilled out desert explorer thing i mean this here oh it's stunning it's just stunning i mean it's kind of so shaded but there's also a feeling of kind of hand-drawn animation to the way i actually move it's just oh that's just lovely just just look at that that is stunning i love it plus there's a giant airship up there so i kind of want to go and chill out with whoever lives in the giant airship so we're just going to be uh, heading over the desert there's a nice little stamina meter gotcha so okay we're doing uh running climbing etc can i just climb I can climb anything. Okay, but depends on stamina. Might or might not be able to uh, get up to the top. So on this occasion, and we can uh, mag flippinificent. And uh, sun appears to be uh, potentially... Okay, the sun setting and the shadow is... Oh, this is... This is stunning. I cooking love it. So this is the Ibex camp. Hopefully I'm an Ibex. Otherwise, I might be about to get myself stabbed by the Ibex. Though fortunately, because we've got a big old desert to explore, we don't need to do it on foot. This little rite of passage thing I'm going to be doing, yes, you do it on a great big hover cycle, which sounds lovely. So, find Dress, he's going to sort out the bike for me, and Hilal is going to have something for me too. Oh, and this is a super cute bit of UI. So, okay, in order to keep the screen clear, so there's not like, you know, compass markers, you can just focus on the scenery, your compass is literally something that you pull out of your pocket. So if you pull your compass out, and while you're looking at your compass, at that point, you can see, I assume that's the time, it's like 9pm, and I can see which directions I need to go in to get to my current set quest. But if I'm not actually looking at my compass, that all just fades away. So you can just be focusing on, oh game, yes, you're making good choices here. So apparently, this is one of the people I need to speak to. Hello there. Right, straight down to business, I've got myself a gliding stone. I don't know what that is, though. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges. I hold it there for you to channel. Okay, it's like a little battery. You could have just said, it's a battery, you'll need it for puzzles. Here we go, temple. Edge of the canyon, top right with juice will be golden. Right, and next up it would appear that, aha, I'm guessing this is going to be dressed down here, though... Okay, you know what? It's time to check. How much fall damage is there in this game? None. Magnificent. Right. Dress. Gonna be needing your help with um, a bike, apparently. Right. Bloody useless bastard doesn't have my bike ready for me yet. So I've just got to use this old beater to go and activate my McJibble. So, okay. This is fine. Just need to figure out what I'm doing. So I've set go to the temple as active quest. And then... I just need to use my compass to so know I'm going uh, over there. I recognise that arch. So, okay. We're using this little old beater to start off with. So, this here is a hover bike. Not a good one, but, you know, it's a hover bike. It can accelerate. And then it can also go into strafe mode uh, if that's what you want to do. But we don't need any of that. Instead, uh, we're just going uh, over here. This is... Can I use my compass, by the way? I can! It's midnight right now. Marvellous. So, oh... No, that was just a puff of cell-shaded smoke. It was not something coming off the front of the bike. It's all fine. And I'm guessing we're going to be... Aha! I imagine we're just, you know, tutorialising climbing right here. So, okay. Off the bike. This is all absolutely fine. I can just climb up. No trouble whatsoever. And we've got to find our way to another little temple, though. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Do we worship this terrifying butterfly man? Because it's possible we do. I really like how darkness is done in this game, by the way. Which is, it doesn't seem to be done as like, you know, pitch black. Instead, uh, darkness is represented by everything being in black and white. It's a really nice way of doing it. This game just looks so lovely. Anyway, gotta plug the thing into the thing. And... Uh, 
Oh, now that's just... That's just nice right there. Okay, I'm not sure what just happened, but if we go over here, woo, I've got a color bubble, so now I can fly. And this area we passed through at night, where it was just black and white, now it's starting to regain its color, so okay. Just bubble our way over to here, lovely. And then, presumably I can bubble into, yes, I can bubble into... A climb, so okay, this is kind of a big exploring McJibble. Gotcha. Although I can't help but notice, hang about, hang about, hang about, hang about. That looks like a treasure chest down there. Let's get ourselves some treasure. No reason not to, you know, loot the temple while we're passing by. I've got 20 diamonds with a circle in them, which may or may not be currency. Ooh, whoever lives in the airship, they've come down to say hello. Right, up to the top of the tower, Captain Airship wants to have a chat to. Hello, buddy, what can I do for you? Ah, my lack of bike is a bit more serious than I thought. I need to go and scavenge the parts myself, dear oh dear. This is an incredibly badly organised coming-of-age ceremony. Ah, but I see. We are kind of in a bit of a post-apocalypse world in a way, which is we live in this very small, simple town, but there's broken down spaceships everywhere. Don't know what happened to them. Possibly there's a bit of a grim apocalypse story going on in the background. But I can scavenge parts from those. Then another up on the Great Rock. And one behind the old dam on the hill. So, okay. I can use a navigator to mark those on the map. So the game won't always give me markers. I need to go to a high spot and make my own. So, okay. I'm going to put a marker right there. Then we're going to go in this direction, they said, uh, up on top of a high rock. So, uh, yeah, there it is. See it over there. Just keep it moving in that direction. Now, just when I see we're in the right spot, right there. That's tagged. Uh, and then uh, behind the dam. So, yeah, they said beyond the dam, actually. So, okay, that's that's too far. That's literally beyond the, uh, the edge of the world. Uh, bring it to here. So, uh, somewhere over there. And there we go. Now on my compass, I've got those marks. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is the thing. This is the thing right here. Also, don't forget to activate your don't die bubble or you might die. So, uh, step one, find an entry point. This looks good. Right. Hop off right here. So, wibbly whoop. Yep, there we go. Now we've got ourselves uh, something. Okay. Interact. Nothing to be found in the ship, but... Blinking light. Okay. Push button. And there's a voice. Recording. Barely audible. Stop messing around with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate. Don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. Alright, let's see if what that old machine has told us holds up. If not, there'll be hell to pay. Alright, so some adjustments. And when I push this orange thing, pull that lever harder. Yes, Ramen. Alright, they do it. And not that hard. You've torn it out. And static. Low rumble. Oh dear. Okay, never mind. It wasn't crashing. They were taking off. Okay, it was good news. Admittedly, the ship is now crashed. So getting back down again might have been a bit harder. Okay, so in the end, uh, there was nothing in this cockpit we could use. Alright, nice and glowy and whatever. But, oh... There's somebody else. Hello, who are you? You're looking for a calibrator. Oh, I've been beaten to the punch by a child. Okay, the kid wants to do a trade for some beetles. So we need to go and find some bugs somewhere. Okay, well, we could do that. But you know what? No, I'm not going back to camp until I've got at least one component. So next up, we're heading over to, yes, this direction. Just, aha. Now that's going to be a bit of a test of my climbing skills uh, over there. And I'm guessing the little kid kind of ransacked that one. That one's hard to get to. 
You know, I'm kind of getting early Assassin Creed vibes off this, all right? We've got ourselves a, yeah, stamina meter that's a bit harsh and an area that needs to be ascended. So, uh, okay. Just get up to here. That's all fine uh, for the time being. There is a wall, which is uh, absolutely okay. I'm not sure whether vines make it easier to climb something or not. I don't know whether that's the, uh, the case, but can I get up to the top before my stamina runs out? I think it's, yeah, easier to climb... If there are vines. It looked like it might have been a bit easier there. So, okay. Round two at this location. Then jump and... Oh! Okay, it didn't really jump. Which might have been a bit of a problem. But if we're lucky... Yeah, the vines definitely make it easier to climb. So jump and float. Though there is... There's no chest down there. No, there's no chest down there. So it's all under control. Jump and float and vines. Make life nice and easy. Right, 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 right. Up to the top here. And yeah, from the very top though. Hang on. Might I want to go up a little bit? Ooh. Okay, we're not right at the top, mind. Okay, just right up to the, uh, the very top. Treasure! Now I have got 40 bits. So okay, just float over to here. Am I better off jumping here? And actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm better off climbing to the top over here. This is the jumping off point. Boom. Nailed it. And it is almost, by the way, night again. So, okay. Colour's now going to start draining from the world. It's going to be black and white till it's day again. But that's all absolutely fine. So, jump. And now we can just float across to here. Boom. Flipping low. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to be up here just in case this is important. So, okay. Now we are up top, and uh, can I actually make it up to the the real top? No, probably not. So, okay, just blob. Thank you. Get my stamina back. All right, down we go. I may as well just start at the sensible point. So, okay, there's... Oh, well, this looks good as a starting point. Atomic power supply. Boom, got component number one. And having been to this location, yes indeed, the marker has already disappeared. So now I know if I just go towards uh, the last marker I left with my navigator, that will now take me to uh, the dam. And what precisely is the deal with uh, the dam? Because if there's no water on the other side of the dam, then the apocalypse is a bit worse than we thought. Because that would suggest this didn't used to be a desert planet. Right, we'll get up as high as we can on the near side of the dam, because... Uh, yeah, the far side is uh, taller. So what we need to do, uh, really, is... Uh, oh, blimey. Okay. Something. Oh, there we flipping go. Right, we've uh, opened up the dam. And uh, turbines. Uh, but no, uh, no water. And I need to find uh, a thing. Well, there's some glowy stuff down there. That's got to be a good starting point. Though, ah. I mean, my gaming senses are tingling right now. And they're saying that's a battery. Shove it in the thing that's a matching colour to open a door. Yeah, I thought so. And yes, it's night, so it's grey once again. But, there we go. Control panel. Boom. Just check around for anything else that might be uh, of interest. But I think we're good. Okay. In which case, time to learn how to catch bugs so I can bribe a child to stop messing with me. Here we go. There's a nest just to the east. Can't just walk up and catch it, though. Seeds growing on the rock around the nest. Drop a seed. Beetle starts to eat it. Then sneak up and grab. Gotcha. Also, sorry, I made a mistake. That person over there was not the airship person. Okay, this is the airship person. And it was so me a map, but... Only for 50 cuts, which I assume is this currency. But I've already got 40, so... Okay, maybe I can hit up my mum for some money. In fact, she might give me the whole 50. Oh, not just 50. She's given me 200. Okay, terrible negotiation. I would have taken 10. Oh, and she's even encouraging me to spend it unwisely. So, okay, drugs, gambling, and women of negotiable virtue. Here I bloody well come. So, that's all he's got, but keep an eye out for airships. That marks other people who will sell me more maps. Now, the thing I really need is, uh, yeah, the nest. What actually is 
The nest. Is that the nest? I don't know what a beetle nest looks like. Aha! Bit further east, we've got ourselves up these guys. So, okay. You can't just go up to them, though. That's not how it works. So, yeah, he was aware of me. That's all absolutely fine. We've got to uh, feed them somehow or another. Here we go. Just give this a bit of a nudge. Did I collect that or did it, did it drop? Okay, there's this. Aha, here we go. Here we go. So I'm just going to toss it over there. And someone's going to be like, ooh, I love this. It's delicious. Then sneak and then grab and grab. Right, okay. So grab things, distract wildlife. Right now to, you know, just gather it. Later, possibly in order to make sure it doesn't eat me. Okay, could be a bit of an issue. And there we go. Got the bugs. Right, back to small annoying childs. Oh, and that's cute. The reason she stole the part wasn't just to mess with me. It's because she didn't want me to leave. And if I got the part, I'd leave. So she tried to give me something she thought I couldn't do. Just give the kid a hug, all right? And here's interesting. Yara never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. So, okay. This isn't just a rite of passage. Some people discover what they want to do is come back home. But some people just find new lives elsewhere. Okay, so there might be multiple endings. So we've got ourselves a frame and the bits I found. So grab and shove into machine gliding bike booster. So okay, we're converting it from what it was to what it should be. Then next up, we have got ourselves whatever this is. This one goes over to here. Gliding bike front. Love it. So, okay. And then uh, final one. Uh, presumably gets shoved in. Yes, here at the back. Shove it in. I feel like the machine's doing most of the work here. Not me. I'm just literally like, you know, plugging it all together and pushing the button. I feel like I'm not actually uh, contributing much to this process. But what can you do, eh? And uh, here we go. I am going to have uh, my own beautiful uh, bicycle. But like a flying one that goes woobly woop. It's going to be great. And apparently my bike's name is uh, Simoon. I'm just going to be calling it Simon. Okay, my bike's name is Simon. Love it. Ah, and apparently that's what we're all heading towards here. The journey can be any route I choose, but the destination is the mask caster. I need to choose a mask that represents who I want to be as an adult. That's where we're going with all of this. Starting with my little pilgrimage mask. So, okay, back to the temple we started in. We've got to make a mask. Oh, and my mum even got me a little flowy cape. Okay, now this is important. They're still finishing off, you know, my bike in the workshop. But do I get my cape to go? I'm gonna be honest, I was hoping my cape would go more swooshy, swooshy, swoosh. I'm feeling a lack of swooshy, swoosh. I'm disappointed. And here we go to... Uh, the room of the giant... Oh, blimey! Okay. Room of the giant heads a bit on the sinister side. So, through we go. Hello! Would you like to be creepy as well? Oh, might be a final uh, platforming puzzle, actually. Gotcha. How well do I maintain altitude, by the way? So, no, don't sprint. You'll run out of bloody stamina in no time. So, go and... Not well enough, but... Get down over to here, and I can just get my way back in the right direction. This looks about right. Love it. And uh, switch number one. All right. So that's that's a thing. I'm going to hop off this one, by the way, to rather not lose all my altitude. So that one's been done. Next up, the other two, I believe. Here we go. This one in the middle looks pretty easy. There's stairs everywhere. Yep, no trouble whatsoever with this one. So just jump and stomp and then get off it as soon as possible. Okay, it is also now presumably, yes, getting really late at night. So now there's no colour aside from stuff that's producing its own light. So okay, just got to move in the right direction. Bit of climbing should get me halfway there. This was not so bad, actually. Just use it. A single long staircase on the side gets me most of the way up to here. And yet yeah, it is now pitch black in this room. But I can sort of see anyway, somehow or another. So over to here. Over to here. And this should be the last one. 
Boom. I'm ready for my mask. Or like baby's first training mask or something. Alright, here she is. Okay, as I say, it's pitch black in here. I can't actually see what colour it is. But it looks like it might just be a bit on the skull side. Which is a little bit, you know, dark and threatening to be honest. Maybe we could put a splash of colour on that. Well, may as well wear that for now. So yeah, I'm kind of like declaring my identity through a mask was the implication. Because I'm wearing this, people will respond to me as an abexi and know that's what I am. And okay, here's interesting. I've made it back to camp, but there doesn't seem to be anybody here. So, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. Oh, okay. I was expecting, you know, a big Zelda Wind Waker style, everybody gathers and there's some really nice music and stuff, but no. Still, we do get some advice. So, Utari, a machinist at Burnt Oak Station, want to see those closest friends. So, okay, we've got somebody we could go and see. They'll help me make my bike a bit better. Oh, and apparently, Simon is not just a machine. There was something in the uh, vague mysticism. If I call out... Simon's gonna come say hello! And as a result of that... Does anyone know? Oh! Simon! Who's a good sort of horse? Right! There we go. I've got a hover bike! Oh, and perfect timing. 6am, colour starts to return to the world. It's time for me to go. So okay, we just drive out the canyon and uh... And that's it. As I understand it, this is now a massive open world adventure. I could go to Burnt Oaks or I could say, you know what? No, don't feel like it. What if instead I just feel like, you know, forging my own destiny? So screw that noise. I've got a navigator. I've got a bike. I can go where I want and do what I want. So Okay, let's find a nice high spot, see if we can scout out something nice and interesting for me to do. And to be honest, that's... That's looking sort of interesting. There we go, morning mist is starting to clear. And there is definitely something on top of this hill. So you know what? I'm here to do my rite of passage, to explore, to discover who I am. Maybe I'm the sort of person who completely ignores the sensible advice given by my mother to run screaming at the first shiny thing I see in the distance. Yes, I feel like I am that sort of person, absolutely. Here we go, I think I found the, uh, the front door. Some actual stairs up in this part of the world. Uh, question is, uh, does anyone live here? Or is this post-apocalypse a bit more, you know, apocalypse -y than I was expecting? Still, I saw that giant tower. I still want to get to that giant tower. So, uh, up top. Where's the giant? There it is. There's the giant tower. Right, keep on keeping on. We're almost there. If anyone's alive, they're going to be there on the giant tower that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Like, I feel like that should be spinning. I might need to go and fix it. I don't know why. I've just decided I'm the sort of person who sees a broken thing and goes and fixes it. Here we go, the wind tower. Okay, maybe I should become a repair person or something like that. Like a mechanic. Okay, maybe that's my job. I need to go get my mechanic mask made. Still, slight issue. Doors not opening. Okay, I've seen a door like that in my temple. But yeah, it needed a job. The wind tower. Fix the tower, presumably the tower provides power to everything else. So just keep on keeping on because I can just work my way around all of this. No trouble. All right, get to here. There's also a window. Ooh, treasure you say? Well, I never want to not loot the dead. Oh, hang on, that's... Okay, how are we supposed to get into to that? Because that window's barred. Okay, the other windows aren't. So if I go the other way, we should be fine. So just loop over to here. Right. Then out to here. So in we go. And, oh yeah, here we go. A bouldering top. So, okay. They won't help me climb further. 
but it makes scaling mountains more comfortable. I mean, I feel like in some ways the cape is impractical, so go on. We'll take the bouldering top for the time being. And just keep on keeping on, straight in, straight through, straight back over to the other side, because then I can get onto that ladder nice and easy, and go! Alright, that gets me up to the next floor. Okay, just, oh, I can hear the wind now, we're getting higher and higher up, so to here, oh, blimey, don't, don't get too aggressive on the old jumps, John. Okay, now I see what could be a little resting spot. So yeah, over to here. And then I can rest on this little spot and then jump. Jump to the top, good. And yes, I know game. I know that's where I'm supposed to be paying attention. You don't need to violently judder the camera around, I get it. So, okay. That's the, uh, the building right there, rather one of them. So, in which case, how precisely are we going to infiltrate this here building? Because I can see, well, barred windows, actually. Okay. When I see a platform there, if I could get high enough up on at this building, then... Okay, hang on. Can I, can I climb on this? Is that allowed? That is strangely enough allowed, yes. Okay. Use that to get up to here. Right, so now I'm all the way up here. Now, I imagine from here, I can float to that wooden platform. So, go! And if we are very lucky, boom, nailed it. I am a genius at pilgrimages. Okay, so from this point, I can now just follow this old girl further and further up. And here we go. That should be nice and easy now I'm on at Vines right to the top and if i aha i've got rid of the cobwebs meaning that now just starts spinning no one said hey go and fix a thing and i'll give you 20 credits or something the game just gave me a desert and i saw a thing and i went to it and it was a really interesting fun little climby puzzle with all sorts of extra bits and pieces dotted around and i'm gonna get a little reward though and you know what jump John, 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 John. You did come up here for a reason. Is there anything in particular that looks interesting to you? Because that's my hometown, isn't it? Yes, I'm literally facing back to the Ibex camp on this occasion. So I see mostly just wilderness at this point. I don't see anything immediately obvious as something I want to come and visit. But I will say, if I want to go to... Yes, about here. There we go. Don't panic. We got it. Everything's under control. Just head back down at the building to go and find, yes, that door. And there it is, just past the first bridge. And that gets me another chest with a machinist top. So, okay. As each one is unique, this presumably belonged to someone. So if I go and uh, put that on at this point, then potentially that's going to identify me as somebody. I might even be recognized by a different machinist. And there we go. It's the end of the day. Final glow on the horizon there. And I have just found this tower, got it going, got the power running in this tiny area. Don't know what happened to the people who lived here. They're all dead, but let's not focus on that because, you know, wholesome game, nice and charming, etc., etc. And uh, as far as I can tell, presumably, best bet at this point, therefore, would be... Uh, I could check what was going on around here, but I did have a good look see. Didn't look like anything too exciting. Might want to go over to, uh, yeah, Burnt Oaks uh, up north. But, 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 I would say, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. This here is Sable, and... Uh, oh, this is lovely. All right, this is... Uh, this is a good example of a game being precisely what I wanted it to be. I wanted a charming, whimsical, explorey game, which was gorgeous with a nice soundtrack where you just get to go around, explore, see stuff you fancy, go over to it, and just tinker with it. And, you know, there to be no guns or raiders or apocalypses, although there clearly has been an apocalypse. But, like, you know, it was 20 years ago. It's not my problem. I'm just making my own life in the post-apocalypse. It's great. 
It's like the world's most chilled out, relaxing iteration of Fallout. It's marvelous. And I'm going to be honest, this is actually better than I was expecting it to be. All right, I had hopes for this, but I wasn't thinking it was actually going to be this lovely. And just, you know, oh, this is, this is what I wanted it to be. Okay, right, 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 right. This will be an option in a live stream vote. We could dig a little bit more into this. Absolutely. So hopefully you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the utterly charming Sable. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Jebediah Kerman has not exploded. Oh, shit. What did that happen? Five, four, three. Oh, I forgot to turn the thrust on. Five, four. Is everything else? How is everything? Up to that point, that was going better than anyone expected.